Hey everybody, it's Brian Davis, Mr. Buys Lot, down here in sunny South Carolina for right now. Uh, today is the 21st, it is Monday. I just wanted to give you guys a quick video, I haven't really done a lot lately, um, of what we've bought and things like that. Didn't buy a lot this weekend, I went to the flea market yesterday uh, for a little bit in Florence, and I picked up a couple items, so I figured I'd show you guys what we picked up. So give me just a second, and we're going to open up the car and give you guys a what we bought video because there's some really awesome stuff. Okay, so here we are. Okay, this is my wife's car here. Check this out. This is probably my favorite item. The day, it will, obviously the sun's showing you guys a little bit over there, but it is a one sixth scale. So it is giant. VW bus radio controlled from Herbie movie. So really good. Uh, this was out at the market for $250. i am very transparent to you guys, tell you everything. I uh, made a $200 offer. It The guy came back at $225. We just agreed on $220. I bought it. I had went up and I bought some other stuff while I was carrying this up to the car. And I had a guy offer me $250. Then he offered me $300. Then he offered me $350. And I told him that I would take 500 and sell it to him. Um, I'm actually going to be putting this on eBay probably tomorrow or today if I can. A uh, green one sold for 800 A loose orange one with no controller sold for parts for over 300 And now there is a green one currently listed at 1300 So I think I'm going to put this one on at 8 or 900 Because um, there's a little warping to the box, you know, a little wear from storage. But the bus is beautiful, um, and we'll take offers. So that could be a 220 to, let's say I sell it at 600 if I put it on at 800 You know, that's a triple up on a $200 uh, purchase. Pretty cool. Now let me move this out of the way, and then I'll show you guys the rest. Okay, so here's the other items we bought. Um, I'll do, I got two hats yesterday I thought were really cool. This Batman hat with awesome graphics still has the tags it was five dollars but i took a shot um unfortunately i don't look everything up like a lot of the people do so this is a flex fit timberland hat this was two dollars so i bought it i bought these awesome wade from england little pottery figures there's a couple of them i've never seen before like this one little scuba helmet uh the uncle sam there's the strong man from the circus that I've seen him before. There's a little train, some other really cool stuff. So as you can see, I bought, I think, 18 pieces for $15. That was a pretty good buy. Uh, if you guys have ever watched our eBay, you've seen some of these before. And these are actually really odd to find out down here. But you can look. This are Senate Documents. So these are miscellaneous documents. We sell these individually. We actually take these books apart and sell them a lot of times. And what's really cool about this one, or the three I bought, is not only do they have really cool stuff in them, um, senators and representatives, this has a directory, and things like that. But let's see if this one has any. There's a single document. So what happens is these have, you know, can have anywhere from one to two or three hundred documents in a book. And when you take them apart and sell them, um, we sell them at about $22 to $25 a document a lot of times, depending on the content. And in some of the books you will find, I'm trying to see if this one has any, there you go. You will find fold-out maps, and the maps can bring hundreds, depending on what they are. So those are very cool. There's another book there. Uh, I'm just now starting to get into clothing. This obviously needs to be washed, but it's a workwear jacket. Here's what I bought it for. It is Carhartt. It is a 2XL Carhartt jacket. Um, I don't know what number... It is J, this is a J130. So I got that one. I got this brown 
also another canvas jacket that I thought was really cool. Now this one has a Hillco Transport Incorporated, but this is by Dry Duck. Again, I believe this is a two, oh no, this one is a four XL, which is even better. So really nice brown canvas jacket. And then the last one is another Carhartt right here. And this one is also a J130 lined jacket. And I paid $50 for the three of those. And I'm gonna walk you up to the side of the car and show you the last thing I bought was a nice little box of Barbie dolls. Uh, holiday Barbies, Barbies of the world. These are gonna come to our auction. I think we paid $50 for 10 dolls. So that's what we got at the flea market. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do. Uh, hit that thumbs up and then subscribe. Hope you guys like this video. The value is gonna be probably seven or 800 on the bus. Uh, the jackets, I don't know yet on the J130s, but they can have really good value for used Carhartt jackets. Look them up. The dry dock uh, jackets, probably 75 to 100. The books have crazy value once we take them apart and stuff like that. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, guys, I forgot that we had some more stuff that we had picked up. Uh, this is probably all definitely coming to the auction. Because my wife was so happy with you guys at my auction for how she did on her real photo postcard lot. She took a shot and bought two photo albums. Um, she walked away from me and went and bought the stuff that I would have went and bought. Uh, I did look at them after she purchased them. So they are really nice and full. They have beautiful cars in them. Beautiful street scenes. Um, this one has a guy that was just fishing. Just tons of really good imagery. Like all those cars are really well identified. These are late 1930s. You know, they probably went to Hawaii or something. So just really great albums. There you go. All the hunting images. There's ones with kids with toys. Hunting and fishing is really awesome subject matter. So she bought these two albums on her own. And everything else. So really cool. There's some really good images in these albums for you guys. So these are going to come to auction. They're going to be $10 start with free shipping. And we're going to let them go for whatever they sell for. I picked up this Mego Ilya figure in the box. a 12-inch Mego. And I also picked up these You'll Die Laughing Monster cards from the, I believe these are early 70s. Uh, they're Universal Monsters on them. I can't remember what year they came out. but So that's what we picked up at the Florence Flea Market. Um, a lot of this will be coming to our auction. The jackets and the Volkswagen Bug will go to our eBay probably. Um, we are in talks with someone about possibly buying our eBay, so I'm not sure if I'm going to post more stuff on it yet um, or not, but we'll see what happens, guys. Uh, this is Brian Davis, Mr. Bazalot. Thank you guys for watching, and make sure you hit that thumbs up. Subscribe, comment below what you enjoyed that we picked up today, what you're most excited about. And we look forward to seeing you guys at our auctions Tuesdays through Thursdays from 1 until about 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on YouTube. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.